Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got an unbagging to show you today. Yay, we love unbaggings. Uh, but before we get on to that, I will just quickly show you these two lovely big stickers. Um, I did actually get these last year. They have all come to me from the wonderful people at dpclubs.com. Uh, yeah, do pop along to their website and show them some love as it were. And yeah, so I've got this lovely ghosty Halloween sticker with the pumpkin on, which in hindsight, um, I should have put some glow in the dark drills on it, but I didn't, unfortunately. And then I've got this happy Halloween sticker, which was just literally two different colours. We've got the like navy blue colour and then the white. And again, I wish I'd done this now in glow in the dark, but never mind. Hindsight's a wonderful thing. Uh, they are huge stickers. I'm not sure if they are still available on the website because I did get these last year um, and as you know I've been doing a big clear out and these were in the box marked do with granddaughter <laughs> only it had got hidden and uh, I'd forgotten all about them so I found them and I've got them done and they will be going up this Halloween yeah the die cut so literally you can just peel them off the carrier sheet pop them onto your wall or your doors or whatever and um, there's no white edging so that's marvellous I love that with stickers I don't like seeing a white edge I'm just very very fussy <laughs> and uh, yeah once you've uh, done for this year you can just peel them off put them back on your carrier sheet and keep them for next year and I did do a few others last year uh, if you remember there was one that actually had the end missing off the uh, Halloween so it said Halloween and uh, I put that on our toilet door downstairs. <laughs> yeah, just my sense of humour. So great fun. Um, these were two dollars ninety nine each, and I have actually seen that quite a few of these um, designs now are coming out in the like acrylic or wooden signs for hanging as well. So it's worth keeping an eye out for those. But uh, yeah, just nice, quick, and easy projects to do. Uh, I don't like that one because we've got like a happy ghost and a happy uh, pumpkin there. And then we've just got a little wah, 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 evil one there. And then if you look really, really closely, which I'd not noticed before, there's just some little eyes peeking out there, look, from another one. So, yeah, they're playing tricks out there rather than treats. These two are the treats and they're the tricks. So that is two that I've got done. Uh, I am going through all my Halloween things and uh, getting it ready because we are now October. Wow, can't believe it's October already. I feel like in July, October was just months and months away and now it's just rushed up at me all at once. So I've got a lot to sort out and uh, I've still got all my butterflies up from my summer display. So I need to now be getting all my Halloween stuff out. Okay, but I'm not sure that these are Halloween. I think we've got some different new things in here and I'm really excited to have a look. So, as I said, do pop along to DP Clubs. Uh, they've got fantastic uh, offers on at the moment. If you buy one item, you get 10% off and then it goes from 5, 10, uh, up to 20 items, which is easy to do, believe me. Uh, you get 25% off. So that means you get like a quarter of the price off everything if you put 20 items in your basket. So it's always worth having a look. And you do get free shipping over $35 as well. So that's even better. Yeah, um, I know somebody was saying to me uh, they have got a special offer recently and uh, it was pointless having the special offer because the postage covered it. But if you do have uh, your wish lists or whatever uh, and you've got some spare cash that you can put into it, then yeah, it's always worth getting your free shipping because, you know, if you usually pay like five or six dollars for uh, free shipping, that's like a painting, isn't it, that you can have extra. That's the way I look at it anyway. But uh, yeah, you know what I'm like, I like my bargains, I love free and I love money off. So, yay! I very rarely pay full price for anything. It has to be extra special if I pay full price. <laughs> okay, all right, so let's have a look. So, we have ooh, a diamond painting, and I think that one could be quite a big one. And ooh, another diamond painting, yay! And we have ooh, a project. Oh, really looking forward to seeing that. And then we've got a little dinky little doodah pen. So, you know me, I don't like to get my uh, little projects and little special drills and little dinky little doodahs. I always go and have a look in the tools and see what there is available because uh, I do like to see what there is there. This has come in a lovely tube. It is actually a diamond painting pen. 
but look at oh, look at that i love the color look at that hot pink on it there so it's like an ombre effect or a rainbow effect going all the way through the colors to the end so it's just got your little bit of silver in the middle and this one is a little bit different this is like one of your for your special drills or like your wax pens so it's just for picking up your drills it's just got a little bit of stick on it not too sticky so it's not going to stick to you when you're like or stick to your furniture but just like a little bit more dry of a wax but it's just great for picking up special drills and i thought oh i've got lots of pens but I've not got uh, that many different ones for picking up special drills. So yeah, uh, I thought I would get this one and I just love the colours of it. It's just fantastic. As I say, I'm not quite sure why it's got the hole in it. I only presume um, it's so that if you do swallow it, you've just got a breathing tube through the end. I know they do that with a lot of um, the ballpoint pens and things now put holes in the lids, don't they? So it's maybe for safety. But that is excellent. I love the colours of it. But it was only $2.99. So, you know, if you like $2.99 off getting your free postage, you can add that into your basket and get your free postage. So, yeah, great. Oh, I love that. It just feels so nice as well. And it's quite, not too heavy, but quite a nice weight. So it still feels nice quality. And it comes in a lovely little tube as well. So it's a great gift. Yeah. What do you get the diamond painter who's got everything? <laughs> and as I do like my special drills and do do a lot, of, an awful lot of special drills, then this will come in very, very handy. Okay, so we'll pop that on the side at the moment. So let's have a look at this special drill project and see what it is. I think you can probably tell to be fair. <laughs> in a very soft plastic bag right so the price of this one was $8.99 and there is quite a lot of different ones on the website okay oh that's a very chunky base look at the thickness of that that's probably about half a centimeter there quarter of an inch half a centimeter thick wow you quite often on these and um, particularly last year they were all coming where you had two and there was you had to sandwich them both together but this is actually yeah one um not overly keen on that very nice if you've got like a santa or a design so i will probably use it that way up you always have the choice so that it's on a white base rather than uh, the santa yeah i don't think he's going to quite go with this design but uh, yeah nice at least we've got the white on the back but I don't think anybody will be looking at the base anyway, because you're all going to be looking at this. Look, it's another one of these. If you remember, um, I have done, there are some diamond paintings, some little 30 by 30 diamond paintings with these special drill pictures on. But now they've gone that one step further and put them onto acrylics. And I just thought, oh, the wonderful. I've always wanted one of these ornaments with the snow globe tummy um, and the little villages and everything. And... Uh, yeah, they have a little train going round. This one, the train's still there, I think. Oh, no, that might be the church. Anyway, but we've got lots of people on this one as well. And then that gorgeous snowy scene, look, with that beautiful house, all decorated with Christmas and the big snowman and horse. And, oh, you can't see it, can you? So we've got the big house there and uh, the, little, the man with the little boy there and the dog and the big snowman. Oh, I'm a horse and sleigh. To go through the snow in a horse and sleigh, I would love that. Absolutely, I would. Oh. And then we've got this very, very smiley snowman. Sorry about the glare. With his top hat on and his lovely little lantern there. That is just fabulous. There is going to be an awful lot of small marquees on this. Can you see them all? Look, this one's for you, Mindy. <laughs> she calls them slivers. She doesn't like all the little teeny tiny ones. That's the Mindy's diamond moment. Uh, yeah, so pop and uh, check out her channel as well. But yeah, she's not keen on all the little teeny tiny slivers that come on a diamond painting. But yeah, I don't mind. I've got a technique now for picking them up and putting them down. So I don't mind them quite so much. But that is gorgeous. Um, it's just a partial. So there's only the bits where the actual drills, uh, the numbers are. That is diamond painted. Let me just see if this middle's sticky. No, it's not. Oh, that bit is in the middle there, but that big bit in the middle isn't. Um, let me have a look. So let's see. Is underneath the hat sticky? Oh, yes, it is. So this one, uh, to me, would need sealing. 
because obviously we've got Millie Moo, our little Scotty dog, um, and with the best will in the world, just to get fluff and hairs and things floating about in the air. Even if you're the cleanest person in the world, it still happens. So yeah, even though this bit doesn't have any sticky on it, these bits do, and you may find that you'll get bits stuck to them. And particularly if you're putting it away for next year, then, you know, if you seal it, it just stops any of the gems or the drills moving. So, yeah, that's fine. So it will just be a good coat of water, a good coat of sealer on it, and then it'll be fine for next year. And believe me, I've got a box full from last year, the year before, and I think the year before that as well. I can't quite remember which I will be getting out and I'll maybe do a, a little bit of a, a, well, a show and tell, shall we say. <laughs> oh, what I've got. So yeah, this is absolutely super. I love it. It's just so pretty. And they're just so smiling and so I've always wanted one of those. I've noticed this year, actually, some of the ornaments uh, in the Christmas shops now, they've got like even a phone box with a Santa in it. And they've got trains with the Santa on and all sorts, all that are all like mechanical and the snow goes round automatically rather than having to pick it up and shake it. You know, it's like a continual snowstorm inside and I just love them. I've always loved snow globes. That my granddaughter actually collects them, my oldest granddaughter, she collects them. So she's got them from uh, trips where she's been. So yeah but these are wonderful and as i say rather than having the big ornament that you know if you've not got the space or my mantelpiece now above my fire isn't very large because we had to downsize a lot of things when hubby got his wheelchair so that he's got more room for moving around um so i can't really have big ornaments and things anymore um not well not as many anyway uh, so something like this is easy because that's a really small footprint um, to stand it on so yeah once it's done it just stands in its little stand will it go in will it go in just looking there to make sure that the bit of plastic was out i got one the other day didn't i where the plastic wasn't out so yeah but he's a lovely size um things do seem to be coming sort of a little bit bigger than i'm expecting oh i do apologize for the shadows uh, yeah it's one of those days where it's really warm outside and it's a really warm wind yet it's raining <laughs> and it's dark so go figure right so that one is 19 centimeters which is seven and a half inches bye we'll do it from the base uh, 24 centimeters which is between nine and a half nine and a quarter uh, inches so yeah he's a lovely size and they're just so jolly just i love them i love it. well i just absolutely adore christmas uh, it does have a cover sheet on the back as well so if you just get your tweezers um or if you've got really good nails just peel that back off it's got like a dust cover on it so it will be completely clear on the edges and these bits will be completely clear as well so yay okay good pen butt and wax to do our painting with and then we've got all these lovely crystally gems let's have a look and see how many we've got oh oh not too many okay one two three four five six seven eight wow so it's not many colors mm, that makes it just that little bit sparklier sometimes just Rather than being overly fussy, it just gives it that little bit of extra sparkle. Makes it look a bit classy, I think. Rather than real blingy and in your face and lots of colours that I like. <laughs> okay, so we've got this lovely clear sparkly silver. That one is a black with a silver background. We've got a lemony gold there and a lovely honey gold. And then we've got ooh, a very pale greeny colour. Oh, that's different. And then that's like a bronzy colour. I'm guessing that's going to be the base. So we've got a wooden base on him. And then look, I told you there's going to be... Oh, they're actually not all that small. I've seen them smaller than that. So that's little marquees uh, in silver and they've got an iridescent coating on. So they're going to really shine and sparkle. And then we've just got a little bit of plain white. 
Now this plain white, you know me, I'm going to be using an AB white instead. I will be swapping that out. So yeah, I mean you can swap any of your colours out if you wanted to. You could do them a different coloured coat if you wanted to. But I like this colour palette. So say, there is a lot of different ones, but uh, I just particularly liked this one. I thought uh, it's a bit more gold and silver because, uh, yeah, I am very traditional Christmas, red, green and gold albeit last year I did have a corner that was sort of silver and blue as well so yeah we'll work out once he's done which corner he'll go in uh, which friends he'll join okay so absolutely loving that one right so that's our little smiley snowman who's waving away we'll just wave you away over there a moment okay well we'll just have a look at the friends Right, and this one, sorry, is another Christmas one. <laughs> this is one of the new ones that's come out. And, oh, yes, it's in a set. So check out the website for all of the other ones as well. Yeah, quite a nice set of them, so you could get several just to make a nice display. But look, it's another snow globe. Can you tell I like snow globes? And it's a really, really easy shape to cut out. So you know what I'm going to be doing, like I do with my round plates. I'm going to be cutting this one out as well and putting it onto foam board. And then it just makes it into more of a decoration than uh, just a picture. So yeah, makes them a little bit more versatile. Oh, this is very sticky. It doesn't want to let go of the cover sheet. We're just giving him a little bit of a flatten down. Look at that face. So I did look through all of them and I tend to look at the faces because I like to have something that's a real jolly happy face and he's just lovely. Look at that little ho 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 face. Yeah. He's really enjoying delivering his parcels, isn't he? He's gorgeous. Oh, and he's got two big Christmas trees. We've got a big snow cloud up here. So he's probably laughing because he's getting snowed on. Those parcels are huge. Gosh, they're nearly up to his waist. So it's going to be a massive parcel. Go on, imagine getting a parcel that big. Yay, like big parcels. Have you ever done the thing where you get somebody, say, a pack of polos or a small pack of sweets and then wrap it in loads and loads of boxes and then it ends up being in a huge box? <laughs> We've done that before. Uh, we did that to my dad one Christmas, my brother and I. And uh, yeah, because he did like polo mints. And he said, what on earth have you got me? Uh, we were only young and we'd spent ages wrapping it all in different boxes and things. But we had bought him a big present as well that did actually come out of that box. But it, it was just a trick to play on him. So I couldn't do that now. I, I don't like playing mean tricks on people. I'd be so upset that he was upset that all he'd got after opening all these things was a pack of polos. <laughs> I worry about things too much these days. I guess it's set as you get older. <laughs> but he is wonderful and I'm sure those presents are filled with wonderful things. I think that must be a doll's house actually because, uh, oh, it's a huge doll's house. Either that or the perspective's really off. Again, though, those presents would be like as high as your front door. So, yeah, it's uh, artistic license. <laughs> but he's lovely. He's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, look, it's a little bit. I don't know, it's got a little bit curved there, hasn't it? And for this, I guess that's going to be like the shine on the glass. So we must have the light source coming from this way, which is possibly reflecting on there and then reflecting down here as well. Yeah, because we've got, this is lighter to darker at this side. So the light source has come from that side, but we've just lost the edge there a little bit, haven't we? I might have to correct that. I think that will drive me mad. If I cut that out, that will really drive me mad because I will see it. So I might have to just correct that a little bit. But it's not a problem. I mean, to be honest, nobody's going to notice anyway. It's only me. I'm exceptionally picky. And I'm getting pickier by the minute in my old age, I tell you. <laughs> right. So this one is 25 centimetres, nine and three quarter inches. And the snow globe is 23 and a half centimetres nine and a quarter inches but i think he's going to be slightly taller because of the stand so yeah it is actually 25 centimetres nine and three quarter inches so he's not quite square with having the base but yeah oh, he's, he's lovely and they're just really quick and easy to do as well. I did get one snow globe last year and I really regretted not getting some more to go with it because it just looks so effective cut out um, and on the wall rather than just being in a picture frame. 
Okay, we have our pen boat and wax as normal. And then we have all these lovely gems. He is 11 different gems and colours. And we do have all the little codes down the side as well. Oops, helps if you actually show it in screen, Liz. <laughs> so we will be having a look at those codes when we kick down once we've got him done. And I'm going to try and do it every couple of paintings um, rather than trying to do it uh, all at once. Um, after I've done loads and loads because it just gets too much and I just spent about four hours putting gems away and I'd only be diamond painting so if I just do a little bit at a time I'm hoping that works better <laughs> oh there's some wonderful ones in here so we have our lovely Christmassy green lovely and sparkly and a little bit of black and that's another sort of burgundy colour again I'm guessing that's going to be the stand on the bottom of the snow globe and some lovely blue silver. Oh, it's got a green in it. That one's wanted to join the silver party. Look, he's escaped. We have our lovely lemony gold and our Christmassy red. Oh, and then we've got some little stars, which are for the tops of the trees. Oh, very nice. What colour are they then? Oh, they are gold, I was going to say. Uh, the silver, but no, they are gold. They're just upside down. <laughs> We've got some little semi spheres some pearls with no facets on, and they have got an iridescent coating to make them very, very sparkly. And then we've got some very, very tiny little pearls, look. And they've got those little stars stamped into them. I've got some larger ones. I can't remember whether I've got the smaller ones or not. I probably have, but yeah, they're pretty. And then, oh, we've got a purple star as well. How strange. So we've got a gold star and a purple to put on the red one. I wonder if I've got any red stars. I don't know. But anyway, that'll look okay. I do like it. And we've got lots of spares. I mean, they've given us loads when we only need one. Excellent spares. And then some lovely big semi-spheres in red, which are going to be all your baubles on your trees. So, yeah, a nice colour palette, that one. Look at those. So we've got your standard colours for your trees and your Santa. And then all these different decorative ones. Wow. Oh. I want to start singing now, but I'm not going to. It's already raining, so it's pointless uh, encouraging it to come a lot more. <laughs> okay. And then the next one I love, and it's a biggie. So let me just move these out of the way. As you know, I've had some fantastic uh, big paintings, big special drill paintings from DP Clubs. Um, obviously, the fish that we did the giveaway on, and I've already completed one of their coin carp ones. So I've got the other one still to do. And then got like, those really big Christmassy ones. And then I saw these had come out, and I thought, these will be lovely for like autumn time because of the colour palettes. And again, there is a set of them. So I am going to try and get a few. But let's have a look at this one. It's a 30 by 50. Yay! It's there. Goodness me. I'm sure they do this on purpose. How can we fool Liz? Let's put the opening along a little dotted line so she can't see it properly. <laughs> I'm easily confused. Right, I'm going to have to open it sideways to start off with. But look at this. It's fantastic. And as I said, I think there's four in the set. Ooh, and it's all crystals. Yay. Pen, boat and wax. We don't want to see that. We want to look at this. Oh, look at that. Wouldn't you just love to live there? I'd live right up the top there so that I could watch everybody. <laughs> but yeah, it's all like autumnally type colours. So I thought it'll look really, really good on my autumn display. Uh, and then even past Halloween for sort of november time. Because uh, autumn is my favourite time of year. I just love the colours. I love the fact that you can start putting your woolly pullies on um, and uh, start putting your socks on. And just, yeah, it's nice weather. It's what we used to call running away weather. You can just put your coat on and off you go. <laughs> Oh, I've not done that very well. Anyway, let's have a look at this picture. But look at that. So we've got one, two, three, four storeys. And do you reckon they've got a basement as well? So it might be a five storey house. 
So we've got steps up to our little front door. Oh, we'd have to get a, a ramp there for Hubby's wheelchair. It's a lovely uh, arched front door look with a little tiny window to look through and all the brickwork showing at the top. And then we've got a basket of apples down here. So it's definitely harvest season and a basket of apples here. And then, oh, not quite sure what that is. I wonder if that's, um, I don't know, that might actually be like a bird, something or other. That might be a bird house or something because it's got a little hole in it there. Unless it's a fruit, maybe it's a very skinny pumpkin. <laughs> All the different colours on the path, though, look, and the steps. And then uh, we've got the little, like, window there. Actually, it might be an extra. I suppose that could be uh, a layer as well. So we might be one, two, three, four, five. It might be six with a basement. Wow. And then we've got all the little leaves and everything around the edges. These look a bit peachy, don't they? Uh, these are definitely apples, but they look a little bit like peaches, which are more summer. Um, unless there's a fruit, I don't know, as you probably know, I'm not brilliant on fruits. Um, there might be a fruit, but it depends what gem we're going to put on it uh, that looks a bit peachy that comes out in the autumn. I'm not really sure. We've got uh, all the leaves up here, look. I was, just, I was thinking that was a butterfly, but it's not. These are all the different leaves. They might, that might be a butterfly. And uh, they look a little bit like ladybirds, actually. But I'm not sure. No, because they haven't got the wings out, have they? They're just, they're just jumping off the roof going, wee! <laughs> no, I think these are all just leaves. So it must be a bit windy here as well. And then uh, we've got... Oh, look. Ah, right. So that's like... Um, a ridge there so there's like a roof there uh, with the little turret built on the top I wonder if it's got a spiral staircase going up as well because it's got a plant pot stuck on it so yeah oh I love this it's fabulous and then uh, yeah the little window there that you can look out of do you think that looks like a face it looks like two eyes and a big open mouth going love at the top of the turret <laughs> maybe it's just me then but it's a little bit mushroomy as well, isn't it? It's, uh, yeah. Oh, wonderful. Just lovely. Actually, I'm thinking that's probably a window, you know. I'm saying, I think that's a window, isn't it? Or a little door that opens with a little balcony. I don't think that's a fruit at all. I think that's just me being silly. <laughs> Nothing new there then was the cry. But that is fabulous. Oh, love it. So there's 17 different gems of colours. There is no codes on any of these uh, gems Let's just pop it that way a second and we'll give it a measure so it says 30 by 50 so we are actually uh, about 45 ish which is about 17 and a half sorry 45 ish centimeters which is 17 and a half ish inches by 25 centimetres, nine and three quarter inches. So got a nice line all the way around the edge look to cut as well. So you know where your cutting line is. That's good because with it being white, it's easy when you're cutting to go off slightly if you've not got a mark to follow when uh, the border is the same colour as the actual picture. So yeah, it is a partial. So it is just the house and the leaves on the outside that have got gems on. None of this background is going to be diamond painted. So they're quite, well, they're quicker to do than a full drill diamond painting, but there is still quite a bit to do on this. I would say this will probably take me quite a few hours to do because this is going to be, I mean, 17 different colour changes for starters. And then there is quite a lot of gems on there and it is that bigger painting. So, yeah, really looking forward to doing this one. Excellent. Okay, so let's have a look at these gems. So, oh, oh, we've got flowers. We've got flowers. Right. Oh, my goodness. Wow. These look fabulous. It's a lovely dark red there. Okay, and a nice contrast green there, a paler green. And an aqua blue. Oh, and look at that orange. That is gorgeous. And then that's like um, a chestnutty colour with a silver back in. It's a very dark colour. Um, is that two lots of silver? Are they the same? No. So we've got the 
standard silver and then that one let's see if i can I don't think you can really tell on camera but this one has got a slight sort of greyish tin gray greeny tinge to it so i'll have to remember that when i'm kitting down i don't want to be putting those into my silvers we've got our standard black that got a little bit of a honey gold and a little bit of purple and we've got a hot pink oh i never thought this would have a hot pink in it yay and then we've got a paler pink and a paler orange there and a pale green and then onto the specials we've got these lovely uh, gold semispheres there and some green marquees with an iridescent coating and then we've got all these roses so where do the roses go then number 17 is the dot is the brown dot so uh, ah oh they're oh they're all on the apples the apples have got roses on them how strange oh and that one's got it so that isn't a window then because it's got a dot on it <laughs> Going to have a little rose on it oh that's different all right okay so are these gold then so that one yeah number 15 so these sort of i thought were like peaches are all going to have the gold circle on them these are all going to have the little pink roses on them oh not all down here and then the green ones i think you can see where they go we've got all the um little green marquee shapes there all around about oh it shall look really different when it's done but i just love that color palette i just think it's such wonderful colors wow look at those oranges and peaches and oh, with that little bit of blue as well wow Thank you, DP Clubs. I love these. <laughs> Put these away. Okay, well, so we have had our wonderful Christmassy snow globe effect items, which is your little standalone. Oops, the pen's having a roll because I've put it back in its box. <laughs> <laughs> it's alive uh yeah our little snowman there with his little snow globe tummy so he'll be done and be standing out somewhere then we've got our lovely santa he's a definite jolly santa with his big tummy look and ho 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 and then this fantastic house wouldn't you just like to live there that is absolutely gorgeous with all those special drills on it loving a big special drill project at the moment huge thank you dp clubs i absolutely love all of these um oh the price of this one was six dollars and 79 cents as well so yeah and uh, yeah so to get the four is uh, not too bad a price at all and don't forget there's like that 10 percent off and your free shipping and all things like that so go and check out all the special offers okay well i hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me i certainly have uh, if you have a thumbs up it's always very much appreciated any comments or questions in the comments down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you want to come back and see what we get up to next, then if you press that subscribe button, whoops, down in this corner and the all notifications bell next to it, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. So you're not going to miss anything. Yay! Okay, thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.